long story short, Mandalore has to stay on the team. Vatlu's saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vatlu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Let us hope not. Uh, ch -ch -ch, hold on. Here we are. City of Ice. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. Yeah, they really probably do. Really quick though, let's level up Mandalorian HK-47. Actually no, we'll give him constitution. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sniper shot's good. Fourteen. Yep. Close combat helps with the sniper rifle. Give us more constitution. We want him to be a very sturdy boy. I know I'm just doing recommended, but I want to see what I'm getting before I do it. Okay. So I shot two. Um, yeah, no, just do constitution. Going. On 16, we're almost done. Pass some parts, improve cypress shot, and wham bam. Um, yeah, that's probably good for now. Alright, Mandalore is going to be a lot different because our boy here is sturdy as fucking hell. Um, no, we don't want two weapon fighting for him. I'm going to say... Give him that. Because he doesn't really do two weapon fighting, so like, there's no point in that. Ten... Eight. Um, regenerate HP. Constitution is 16. Big okay, good. Before you ask, no, Mandalore cannot become a Jedi. 
It's just not a thing. Computer use, nope. Proof of toughness. Mandalore is just way too stuck in his ways to ever be a Jedi. He could be the most force sensitive one out there. He'd be like, yeah, whatever, fuck you, I don't care. Man just wouldn't give a flying fuck. And as a person who loves the Jedi, I, I respect that for him. Like, good for him. He does not want to be involved in all of our space magic nonsense. Knowing what we know about the Jedi, I don't blame him. Um, let's go with... No. Um, yeah, go with strength. Only because, God forbid, I give him a melee weapon. I want him to be able to just, like, swing it with, like, a fucking emphasis. Give that man emphasis on that wrong syllable. This feat increases damage done by ranged weapons by one. Um, do 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 do. Ba da ba 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 ba. Continuing that. But what's point two? Increases by two. Or yes. Um. Both that. Stick with that con constitution, baby. Um, saving throws. Yeah, let's go with conditioning. Having good saving throws is actually going to be really good. Oop. Persuade where does treat injury? Um. No, let's keep, let's go. Let's keep up with the, the saving throws. I want this man to be a walking tank. Like I want nothing to slow him down. I want him to be so powerful, everyone just runs from him. Nope. Consciousness. Ooh, yes. Ooh, um. What the reaction stem? Reflex plus one damage physical. Save that for later. Repeating blaster rifle. Do I have anything better than that? Just out of curiosity. Wait, hold on. What's the stats? 2 to 12, 26 meters. Wait, you got the assault rifle. Fuck that. Like, the repeating rifle is good, but like... Right now, the assault rifle is way better. Okay, it is a Sonic. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Um. Give him the ion rifle for one, then give him the two to eleven, twelve. Hold on, two to two to eleven. Oh fuck that! Yeah, the bottom one's way better. Um. Uh, 
One to ten. Give me the bowcast. Bowcasters are fucking overpowered as shit. We 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 love the bowcaster here. Oh, the uni unity grid's better. My bad. That flamethrower. Carbonite projector. Dex and reflex. Computer use. Motivators, Dex and Defense, Pair, Fortitude and Constitution, Attack Modifier for Humans, The Reflex is a Lonely Child, ba -bum 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 -bum. Advanced Upgrade Slot, Reprograms the Destroy System to allow, okay. Awareness, attack modifier, give that one. Okay, that, that, was, that was like a very long process to get this far, but it's fine. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're suited up and ready to go. As soon as we get to like a workbench though, I'm gonna try upgrading both their stuff. Just because we probably should. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Uh, what's been going on here? Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. It's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Any news on the blockade? Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fire on the space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. Oh, why they're priceless? If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Oh, okay. Um, how's the situation on Underworld? There's strict food and water rationing, and General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. Jesus Christ. Um, I'll be going now. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. That's fucking awful. Also save. Cuz. There's a person here I want to like. You? Yeah, it's you. This guy can have amazing shit, but it's all our uh, random number game. Oh yeah? Uh, what, what do you got for sale? They say my goods are banned, so all these killing implements are sitting unused. Yeah, I'd like to see what you got in stock. Um, Regal Visor? Nice, I think I already have one of those. It said Power Gauntlets, those are... Tonomaton Gloves, ooh, those are good. Ooh, those could be good for Atten. Those could be really good for Atten. I'm just buying everything I can. Uh, cardio regulator, awareness and stealth. Um, that'll make my bank. Uh, thermal de God, fuck, you are so expensive. Oh, 
like fucking hot. Awareness and stealth. Nikto bounty hunters often employ these masks to help them track down prey. Askar hunting masks were created by huts to improve the performance of their minions. Ooh. Well, that's neat. Really, that is actually kind of neat. Gauntlets? No, I'm not going to be wearing those. The war gloves, they just, they suck. They take away stuff more than give, so. Um. That's a minus three to defense, so no. Minus one, no. Not a fair, not a, not a good bargain. Okay, what do we have? Light armor, no. Light armor, no. Light armor, no. Nope. 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 Um. Seven, eight, nine. I'll get rid of the seven. Um. No, nah, just get rid of it. It wasn't that worth anything. Heavy armor. You don't need two of it. How's that? Like, I definitely do not need two. Morgan War Axe, Vibro Blade. Disruptor, Disruptor Carbine. Um, ceremonial book. Ooh. Yes. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Disruptor pistol. Zabrak. Blaster carbine. Fight. Ooh. That goes with my money, though. I don't have enough. Combat enforcer. 2 to 12. Eh, not really much. 4 15. Um. We can give it a scope. I'll take it, but I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to Um. These would be really good for Hatton, though. Yeah, fuck it. Like, they really would be good for Hatton. Um, you... Oh, I can't switch out Mandalore's armor? That's kind of lame. <laughs> it's based on the it's based on the Iriadu design it's just okay yeah okay just upgrade them and we'll give the Iriadu to the Mandalorian there you go bomb salt oh that's perfect uh where's the Cerebrion yo yeah give me that um assault rifles 3 to 14 yeah that's good okay Okay. Also, did I buy something? No. No, I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Okay. Those were curious. Wins to you, Offworlder. What up? Is it too much to hope that you are a Talosian merchant? I am sorry, I'm not. The winds still taste of misfortune. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. Um, why do you have so many beasts in cages? These beasts you see here are for delivery to Telos, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for thorough and needlessly long searches. So the city is stacked with caged beasts waiting for their ships. We have stopped gathering beasts now, but they still live in the city. For Drexel and Ryder, the authorities have brought wealth and prosperity. Our settlements have prospered, but now... Oh, okay. Your beasts seem restless. 
No, we like to that one. Okay. Thank you. Calm. Calm. Oh, <laughs> wait, she what? got closer. Run! The bomber is out of control. Go with the carbonite. Oh, that thing just got fucking frozen in carbonite. I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders. Or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. Um, what stories are you talking about? The beasts grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts. As, as you've just seen, when they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. There is much to be discussed. All right, thank you for your credits. Um, oh fuck, let's just go for a little bit more. I am so sorry for insulting you with my offer. Here, here is more. Again, I apologize. Okay, didn't give us dark side points. No, that's not bad, a thousand credits is nice. We did spend a lot earlier, so we could always use more. Okay, uh... I just gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I don't think my business is any concern of yours. I don't think your business is any concern of mine. Observation. Master, your powers of persuasion, without the use of pain or violence, is a mystery to me. Um, yeah, fucking HK just wants to be... HK is over here, like, wanting to commit murder. Uh... Ch -ch -ch. Okay. It's inside a city, HK. Otherwise... Statement. Of course, Master. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. Uh, let's see. I have answered all your questions to see your satisfaction. Now let me pass. You're free to go. Don't lose your Starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Strangely enough, I have no urge to ask you any questions whatsoever. Yeah, it's funny how that works out, isn't it? Um, anything else, HK, that I need to do with you? Making sure uh, when you're in Bush. Right? Um, no, I don't need to worry about that one. Okay, so we can switch to... Um, Back to Mira. Also, while we're here, Mira. See, anything else I can switch for you? I think so. Um, no, that's you're actually pretty good. Never mind. So now we got Mira and Mandalore. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. 
But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. I don't Please, know. Man, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. Did you just man me? Hmm. What's going on? This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy. I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. Um, do you have some kind of warrant? A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. Okay, uh, a journalist would be a poor cover for a spy. They're well known for their discretion. No, that's actually true. Don't. This is just because I try and expose the web of lies that Enough out of you! Perhaps this traitor is more of an agent provocateur. Why is Sent he finally French? To sow dissent in our ranks. You have any proof of the sort? That is classified military information. How many other journalists have been you been rounding up today? I don't have time to answer your barbed questions, off-worlder. Oh, we can either persuade or force persuade. Um. Ooh. Uh. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do the like just gonna like the s subtlety. You're violating this man's rights. I'll make sure the story gets out. Men, let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you, you should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. I'll be Eventually the best. they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. No problem. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? Um, what do you mean? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. Our home was seized, and we were cast out. We have seen many wars on Isis, and I know war is coming. I want to spare my children from bloodshed. I think you're not telling me something. I've told you our story. Please. Won't you help us? Um, if you expect me to help you out, tell me the truth. My husband, he was part of the ISIS Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He, he tried to kill Vaklu to protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered. And he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong. And our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. I'll see what I can do. Helping her is a good idea. You have the look of someone used to adversity. A cut above the rabble around here. I have a business proposition for you. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching how well they act out their lies. Or truths. It doesn't matter, really. What does matter is credits. Hard currency. I offer you 2,000 credits if you find an open starport visa. You won't find a better deal. What will you do with it? Does it matter? Truly matter? No. I have no sad story. I just know people who will pay a great deal for an open starport visa. The credits are your share of my profits. The visas are very rare. I 
have a feeling you may come across one. Um, I'll be going now. You're just a greedy little merchant, dude. I'm, I'm not supporting a capitalist. Sorry, but fuck you. I love how it actually says tame Boma. It's like, what? I, I do want to help the mother out because, as she described, it's not exactly the best. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Yeah, fuck you. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Uh, why are there so many beast cages around? Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild Telos. I don't know why, but ever since they started, the beast riders have been crawling out of the woodworks to sell them animals. But the Republic blockade has meant long delays, and because of that, beast cages are filling up the streets of Isis. Uh, what's the tower? That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city, and for many generations, our main enemy was the beast riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their beast riders. What is a Drexel? A Drexel is a flying beast. Huge creatures with teeth the size of their arms. Lethal and skin like ferrosteel plates. Somehow the beast riders figured out how to tame them years ago. Oh. Um, you tell me about the beast riders? That's a long story. You sure you have the time? Most people don't care for an old soldier spinning a tail or two. At the time, I'm interested. Someone else who likes history, huh? All right. Isis was formed pretty much at the dawn of our civilization. It was born out of necessity. It protected us from the dangerous beasts that litter Onderon. This city is as old as our civilization. Most of our technology was invented to fortify these walls and protect us. For ages, our worst criminals were cast out of the city to an almost certain death. It wasn't completely certain, though. Some of the criminals figured out how to survive out there. They learned how to tame the native beasts. And it wasn't long before they turned their attention to Isis. Um, they're not your enemies anymore, though. What happened? About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married one of the great leaders of the Beast Riders, Orin Kira. That was right at the start of the Beast Wars. By the end of it, Gallia was crowned queen, and finally there was peace between our people. Nice. Are you still allies? It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. There's an uneasiness between our people. The Beast Riders are upset that General Vaklu has forbidden Drexel in Isis. Citizens usually only see the fallen Beast Riders, who know better than thugs. Um, do -do. let me ask you something else. Certainly, things are quiet right now. I have some time. What do you want to talk about? Um, there's a lot of soldiers around. These are troubled times. You've probably heard that General Vaklu and Queen Talia are having some disagreements. Uh, can you tell me about the troubles? I've been warned from command to keep my opinions to myself on that. So I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Ask around, though. There are plenty of people who'd like nothing more than to talk about it. Uh, how did you get in trouble? Times are too complex for a simple soldier like myself. Sometimes I made the mistake of answering questions honestly. If you say anything bad about a superior officer, they call that disrespecting the rank. Do that too many times, and it's not long before you're a civilian. Hmm. All right. Um, who else can I talk to about what's going on in Isis? The politics of the day is probably the most talked about subject in the city, and everyone wants to share their particular view of what's going on. Opinions are like Giska around here. They breed like mad. All right. Thank you. I'll be going now. Stay out of trouble. Uh, let's be honest. I don't think that's going to happen. If you knew me, that wouldn't be happening. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Yes, I am. But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Kirk. The captain already has enough complaints about you. 
No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Uh, pr pretend he isn't here. Yeah, I would like to see what you have in stock. Soldiers watching street vendors. That's not fucking uh, despotic. Not despotic at all. Ooh, con, strength, and... Oh, we already have one of those, don't we? Oh, that's an adept. Okay, no. The apprentice one is weaker. Never mind. Jedi robe, dark Jedi robe, Padawan robe. And nothing really in the form of that. Ooh, a new crystal. Gimme. We're really running out of cash. Casual gloves. Um, uh, insulated. Okay, no, we're doing. That's pretty much all we can do. Okay, thanks, man. You have returned. My stock is filled. Um, why can you only sell the people with starport visas? General Vaclu is concerned about well-armed insurgents. They've had to get arms from somewhere. Not for me, of course, but all sales of weapons have been severely restricted. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the proper clearance. <laughs> and now off-worlders can't come here because of the blockade and searches, but <laughs> it's a wise policy. <laughs> okay, that is a clever political tactic of like, we can only sell weapons to non-citizens. But there's a blockade preventing non-citizens from coming into the city so that the citizens can't get arms and the non-citizens can, but they can't come in. No one but the military. Oh, that's actually clever. Fuck Vaclu for that. That That is, ooh, that, that's some 3D chess. So you're happy about all this? Of course. Soldiers are only doing their job. Even if it puts me out of business, I am happy. <laughs> Even if I'm forced to live off scraps in the street, I am so happy to do my part. <laughs> Long live General Vaclu. My guy, you are so fucking, like... Oh, just glares at me? Yeah, you fucking better glare at me. Going over here because of these fucks. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Fuck you guys. Just like, fuck you. This time, none of us died. A durability upgrade. Warfare upgrade. Okay, what's the security terminal say? Ooh, slice the computer? Hell yeah. Or not. Okay, fuck you too, computer. Bill talk though, I'm surprised that like we were able to like back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given now, we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Who, me? Yes, you! It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide, to take control of our future! Uh... Like, listen, my guy, this is not my world. So, like, not my concern, this is my home planet. Leave here, off-worlder. My words are meant for the sons and daughters of Onderon. Your type continues to plunder our world, and we have nothing to show for it. Be gone! That's enough, Ponlar. 
If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. Okay, you're not doing anything, but whatever. You got a name, so I'm assuming you can talk. Tawana Bota Ayuka Taigwa Kankidora. Ya Sora Ku took a Ulwanji Yuma Litwa. Shanek ma winbok lelenko so baramwe. Da hupa, bosa kurata, go juju to yoki. Hyata yamba wajiaki yuki to tune. Gabatumba musuru kubla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Moga chi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo grabo. Drum pabana karas mangra. Kalalava dumba compile mokata. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita ta bosananansata. Um, what do you think about Quintalia? Kawana bota works with the Republic. Rules peacefully and popular with her people. Good. All those are good things. Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liya. Those close to power see the mistakes she makes. The nobles high ranking military things are bad. Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatura. Tayaita Ta Bosanan Hansata. Um, let's see. But there would be deep consequences if, um. Actually, I don't know much about Vaklu. Vaklu lies, twists his words, tries to take the heart of people away from the rightful queen. He's a war hero, leader of the resistance during the Mandalorian Wars. He has vision and experience. He may not tell the truth, but he works for the best interest of the people. He would start war to oust the good queen. So, so far we have, one has the hearts and minds of those citizens, one has military support in, like, the nobles. Already, as a leftist, leaning with the people. There would be deep consequences if Andoran secedes from the Republic. The Republic is ailing, independence may serve many plans better. In time of need, we should lend aid. Wars hurt the Republic, but the Republic has protected us all. The future conflict, government will protect again. Who do you trust more? That is the opportune question. I don't trust Vaku. He lies to the people. He's been caught in them before. Talia is vulnerable. The question isn't unfair, though. Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liyawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Uma. Got caught. You can't trust your leader's words. How can you trust their motives? Dori Kitsodu Sobarenwa. Dorjine Sobawata. Tonghi te Mosi Jotia Yumba Ditawa Ebawatune Ruta. So, yeah, I'm recording this during a fucking political election season. These are important things you should ask your, yourself when deciding who to vote for. Does the, the leader in question have the best interests of their people at heart? Will their actions have greater ramifications at the uh, benefit of you will come at the expense of someone else? For example, as I said, yeah, Vaklu may be good for Andoran, but if they lead the Republic, that can lead to problems for the Republic. For example, if they leave the Republic, the Telosians will not get the Beast Riders uh, animals to help restore the planet. That will harm another planet directly. Onderon's uh, success should not be built on the um, suffering of another planet. Simple as that. Um, we also heard the people who like Talia and Vaklu. The nobles, the military, the rich, like all those people, they like Vaklu. But the everyday citizens trust Talia despite her um, inexperience. They trust her because of her good intentions, her motives, and her general goodness. If 
as the option says, it's crucial. You should trust your leaders. You should not be married to them in the sense of like, oh, I committed, I can't uncommit. But if you don't trust them, you shouldn't be supporting them. Uh, Vaklu's ambition is dangerous. Um, yeah, no, it's... Trusting your leader is crucial. And, as of right now, she is the rightful ruler. Vaklu is, even not directly, suggesting treason, civil war, and potentially galactic conflict. All of those three things are bad. So I trust Talia. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litwa. Shanek ma winbok lelenko sobaramwe. Kawana bota yunta tanga ki. Also, I do like how this ended in a way that both of them are still, like, able to converse. It's not a, like, oh, fuck you, I, I hate you for this. Like, no, I like that there is still that sense of, uh, hey, that's the face model for the, uh, the male Jedi character. If, if you play as a guy, that's one of the face models. <laughs> anyway. Mastulio. The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel only. Stay clear of here, off-worlder. You sound so thrilled. What is the sky ramp? The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. No civilians are allowed past this point. Um... I just want to try it. I, I really want to just try it. I... I... I will let you... No. No, you're not permitted past this point. I suggest you move along, Offworlder, before you test my patience any further. Okay. Um, can I speak to someone in charge? I'm the one in charge here, Offworlder. If you try to get past me, then you'll have the entire Isis garrison on you in seconds. Okay. No, no, that, that's fine. Um, you know, who are you? I am Captain Bastuko. I have served loyally in the Onderon military for 20 years. 20 years would mean you were here during the Mandalorian Wars, right? I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world and I fought in the Resistance. When we drove them from Onderon, I served on the Wall for 10 years after. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? The Mandalorians never gave ground to any Onderon soldier. Such of you could be considered treason. Onderon was responsible for much of the fighting during the last days of the war. Without General Vaklu, the Republic would have fallen. What do you think of Vaklu? General Vaklu is my superior officer, and I respect the chain of command. He kept the Resistance alive when the Mandalorians were destroying our world. Uh, could you tell me about the wall? The wall is the barrier between Isis and the Onderon wilderness. For hundreds of years, we kept the city free of beasts and beast rider scum. The greatest honor for an officer is to serve on the wall. Many aspire to the post, but few are worthy of it. So for those who remember watching Clone Wars, Isis, the city we're in, is in Clone Wars. And you still see, like, the wall and all that stuff is still there. Like, it is so cool how Onderon is gone from Legends to Canon in a way that, like, not much changed. Uh, why aren't you on the wall anymore? I was requested to guard the sky ramp in the merchant quarter. Okay. Um, you don't sound pleased. My personal feelings on the matter are irrelevant. I received an order and I carried it out. Okay. I'll be going then. Fine. Be that way. Can I talk to you yet? I'm quite busy right now. Nope. Perhaps later we could talk. Okay. Let's do this. Tina Chara, Tranacha, Ganoviso, Totrano, Ferrando Nosh, we want a motto. Rakichi Sam, Donacito, Morokipa, Shakani, Rakichi Sam, more bounty hunters. Donacito, Morokipa, Shakani, Dakosha, Nichotoro. Punta Chakorzo Laman, Gunashtuna Ranana Shani, Visitisa Chola, 
He said, Kaka. Well, aren't you just an ambitious little scamp? Mira, can you, like, not die? Oh, you, you got me, guys. Okay, we, we, we get it. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. We're good. Oh, we got those gloves that we were... <laughs> We spend a lot of money on it. It's fine. We can either sell one of them or give them to some, or just deal with it. Fuck this game, though. It just spends like 14,000 credits on something and then immediately picks them up on a corpse later. That's my luck. Unfortunately, that is my luck. Thugs and Beastmaster. Jesus Christ. Tra pile of trash. One B eight D. Many. This is Dagon Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. Uh, where is he? A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. Uh, Mandalore? Dagon have done this? He's certainly capable of it. And probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him. Suspicion of murder or not. What tower? It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. Uh, thank you for the information. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. Thank you. I love how we can just go in. Kind of, uh, you know. Questionable. Mm -hmm. Oh, salvager. So no one here can, like, actually provide info, so we gotta go talk to Reich. Ooh. Shit. More baddies. We some mogo dosi sheba dente school and most of it yavach. Pictarishan. Back off, wormhead. This bounty's mine. Don't do something you might regret. Your soldiers all over this place. Ba one madiranja, you come most croon. Nande mi so kukuran marende kravanosa. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna let you th insult my companion here, so just just letting you know. You guys got that? Armor. Uh, usable. Mind 
trick. Let's fight him off. That one guy just <laughs> running back and forth like, oh my god, oh my god, there's all this problems going on. Rag grenades. This Twi'lek though was really sturdy, fuck. Down here, starboard visa. Remains. I think I need to talk to the person in here to fix them. Find a visa you have to. Yeah, okay. Come inside, make no problems. Many problems recently make me. Okay. So many problems. Beth, hire me. Go in, drink, but no fight, no kill. Okay. I'm fine with that. I am very fine with that.